Then after that, apparently, Mr. Christopher Yee uh, wants to challenge me in Vegas. So Brian, I think you're a little confused. I don't want to challenge you. I want to destroy you. 24 hours. $300. And the winner is going to be decided by the comments. That's right. You guys in the comments get to decide who wins this competition based off of three different things. In one week, you have to say who had the better aesthetic, who got a better value on all of the parts, and who got the better performance. And now the loser has to give the winner their profits that they make off the flip of their build. So are you ready, Mr. Yee? Are you ready, Mr. Yes? Yes, <laughs> versus Yi. Let's get it on. It is, oh, it's already nine o'clock, but uh, we're gonna be driving to every corner of Las Vegas to get what we need. No expense is getting spared for the competition. <laughs> so we're gonna pick up the core components. I believe I have everything except for a drive and a power supply, but that stuff I can pick up I'm hoping tomorrow or the next day. Relatively easy to find, but we got the core components and that's what we're gonna go get right now. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Let's see here, okay. Perfect. So I got a 50? Yep, that's fine. I mean, it's perfect. The only thing wrong with it is the foot thing came off. Yeah. I, I still have it, I just haven't glued it back over, but yeah, other worries. than that, it's fine. All the parts are there, all the screws and all the, the GPU. I mean, like, looks like, so. looks pretty much perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much, no man. Problem. Have a good night. You too. Hey, Dustin. So, yeah, how are you doing? Good. Did you bring up in the light if you want to take a yeah, look sure. at it? Yeah, sure. I'll just take a look at it real quick. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I mean, I trust. Obviously, there's no way to test it, but thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, uh, it. Here, let my me. My wife ended up getting an IMAX, so it's no longer needed. No, you let her get that. Oh, I'm just kidding. No, uh, <laughs> All right, well, here's the 100. I appreciate right. it. All righty. Appreciate it. Thank I you so much. I appreciate it, and I uh, look forward to seeing it pop up one day on a video. Awesome. Have a good rest of the night, man. Good. How are you doing? Good. How was uh, CES so far, huh? Uh, overwhelming. Almost, I can only imagine. Here's this guy. Okay, cool. Oh wow! You, oh, you're the one who saw that as well. Fifty. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of the night, man. You too. We'll see ya. So yeah, that is everything I have for right now. I have a good amount of money left in the budget, so I think I can squeeze in a solid state drive. Pretty good one. And uh, good luck, Brian. You'll need it. All right, so we are running out of time. We're barely going to be able to get our drive and our power supply in time to finish up this build. So we're heading over right now. Let's get it. <laughs> How's it going? Trevor, right? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So uh, this is actually the newer box. It's not a 70 inch yeah. button, so it's okay. no problem. That's just what I had to put in it at the time. Okay, yeah, no worries. Perfect. Here's 40 bucks. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you, man. Yep. Have a good rest of the night. There's the 40. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I always open them to make sure you see what you get. Okay, perfect. I actually almost sold one that was the small hard drive. Oh, the I see, I one. see. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Here's the 40. Okay. Have a good rest of your night, man. Yep, thank you. All right, so we are finally back with all the parts, and I think that we have enough good stuff here within the budget to beat Brian at Tech Yes City. I think we do, but uh, we'll go over it really quickly so you guys can see what I got and how much I paid for it. So we have this whole combination right here. This is the CPU cooler, CPU, motherboard, and RAM. And we got all of this together for a hundred dollars. Not bad, not bad. If you were to get each of these prices individually, the CPU cooler, which is a Thermaltake Contact Silent 12, goes for $25 online. The processor, which is an FX8320, an older eight core AMD processor, goes for $86. The motherboard, which is an MSI 970A, an older AM3 Plus socket motherboard, goes for around $52. And the RAM, which is by Corsair, it's XMS3. It's clocked at 1600 megahertz, eight gigabytes of DDR3, and that goes for around $60. So all of this in total would cost you around $223 if you were to get it online. That's with me trying to find it for cheap. The main reason I decided to go for this specific combination is because from what I could tell, it was the most powerful option that made sense within the budget I had. Next, we have our graphics card. Now, this is an OEM 
PNY GTX 970. Now, for those of you who don't know, OEM stands for Original Manufacturer. Well, something like that. And this is a graphics card that was pulled from a pre-built system. Now, I was able to get this graphics card for $50. Now, for those of you that don't understand, this graphics card is still very powerful and you'd be able to run, I believe, most popular games at high to maybe ultra settings at 1080p, which is insane performance for $50. And used from everything I've ever seen to online, locally, you can't really find this card for under $100. From what I was able to see online right now, if you're to try to get it for as cheap as possible, it's available for around 140. So I ended up saving $90 on that alone. Next up, we have our power supply. Now, this is not actually what the box says it is. It is a CX 600M, not a CX 750M. Unfortunately, I got kind of screwed on this power supply. I'm not sure if it works or not, but I'm talking specifically about the price. New, this thing goes for around $65, and I was only able to get it for 40. So while it's still pretty good savings, typically on the used market, you want to get a probably around a $20 to $30 power supply because honestly, these things price wise, they degrade pretty heavily and you should never be paying as much as I did. But like I said before, 24 hours, you kind of just have to get what you can get. And moving on to our drive, which I think is actually an insane find. We have an SSD. Let me just open this up. This is an 860 Evo Samsung SSD and it comes with 250 gigabytes of space. Now, I was able to get this thing for $50. Brand new online, you could probably get this right now for around 60. And I'm okay with those savings, even though they are small, because this thing is actually brand new. I was able to snag this off of OfferUp, and for whatever reason, the gentleman I got it from actually was selling this in a box that says, not for retail sale. So I wonder what this is supposed to be used for, but I'm not really gonna question it too much. I'm really happy with this purchase. And I think 250 gigabytes of space for solid state drive space for a $300 budget is pretty insane. And lastly, we have the case. Now, if you guys don't know already, I am an absolute sucker for NZXT cases. Check this thing out. It's got a beautiful, simple glass, oh my God. <sighs> I love these cases. I use NZXT for my own personal stuff. Not sponsored, I promise. I just love how it looks and I'm sure you can understand why. So this thing right now, if you get it online for cheap, uh, I mean, you can't really get it for like cheap, cheap because it's a relatively new case, but you can get them around $80 and I was able to pick this thing up for 50. So if you were to add up the tentative retail price of all of these parts, you would be paying around $568. I was able to get everything for 280 and like I said before, only within 24 hours. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Anyways, so we've got all of our parts here and now all we have to do is put it together. I guess in four or five years, uh the new uh, generation's music will be, um, <clears throat> it'll have uh, a synthesis of those two elements and some third thing that'll be entire. Maybe it'll be, uh, it might rely uh, heavily on uh, uh, electronics, uh, tapes. I can kind of envision maybe uh, one person with uh, uh, a lot of machines, tapes, electronic setups. My truth, please. Oh, what? I have never seen that in my entire life. I don't know what that means. What the hell does this mean? Yes! Okay, so everything in this computer seems like it's gonna work together fine. Now I just need to install Windows, get all the benchmarks on here, and we'll see how this thing performs.
All right, so everything is finally downloaded and the tests that we agreed to were Dota 2, Unigen Heaven, Cinebench R15, 3D Mark Fire Strike, and then finally CSGO. We have specific settings and tests that we are running within those games and tests, but let's finally get to posting some numbers because I'm not trying to lose to someone coming from out of town on my home turf. And I'm really... All right, and those are the benchmarks. And while I think for $280, this performance is really good, it's not about being as good as I can be. This is about beating Brian at Tech Yes City. I'm not trying to take an L. So a couple thoughts on this computer. Number one, I think I might have gotten too good of a processor. Now, what I mean by that is there were cheaper options available that could have saved me some money and that I could have used that money to get a better graphics card because when you're trying to get the maximum frames per second in a game, your processor, it doesn't really need to be that good. And in Cinebench, you were seeing a score of around 650. And for games, you don't need something that high. Me personally, I've told you guys before on this channel, I'm a video editor. That's my main job. And skipping out on getting a powerful processor always hurts me inside because I know that if someone wanted to dip into content creation, they would be limited. But for this specific competition, I think my roots might have hurt me a little bit. Number two, I spent so much time trying to find the perfect balance for overclocking this processor as well as the graphics card. This GTX 970 graphics card, which I was using, was actually a little bit underwhelming at stock speeds. So depending on the program I used, I was only able to push it up to 200 megahertz or a little bit higher, depending on how demanding the graphics were for that specific program. After doing that in pretty much all of the tests, I saw at minimum a 10% increase in frames per second. The FX 8320 comes at a stock speed of 3.5 gigahertz, and the most I was able to push it to was 4.1 gigahertz. Any higher and Windows would not even load. That overclocking actually did a ton for me when it came to the Cinebench score because I ended up going from low 500s to 650, which is a massive jump considering I didn't have to spend any more money to get that extra bit of performance. Those are my main thoughts, but lastly, I have to remind you guys again, this competition is decided by you guys. Now, I'm thinking I'm gonna try to sell this computer for around four or $500, and I really don't wanna give that to Brian. So remember, if you leave in the comments section your vote, you have to be talking about who won aesthetics, who won value, and who won performance. Please help me save that money, four or $500 is a lot. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. And as always, have a great day.